What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. I think I'm probably going to have to sit down and at least try. we got to chop some trees here. So we got a bunch of stuff we got to take care of. Today is going to be an interesting day. we got to go back to war. we got all the stuff that we need in order to make the Pirata Hatatatator. And I would like to make one, like now rather than later. However, we can't until we get a little bit more silk. I need four silk, bare minimum before I'm going to be able to handle my business as far as the Pirata Hatatatator is concerned because we got to make a bird trap. And that's not guaranteeing that we're even going to catch a red bird. We can't even catch the black ones. The black ones don't even count. we got to catch one of the little red pirate bird looking ones, the little parrots. And so anyways, we got a snake over here. I do, however, need a lot more wood. And so at the front end of today's episode, we're probably just going to chop down this little grove on the right-hand side and see what we can get out once that's been taken care of. I will more than likely make a few more little farming plots. I need to dig up all the stumps from here and the other island where we've been woodworking, but it just hasn't happened yet. I haven't gotten around to it. So unfortunately, until it happens, we're just kind of stuck here. Oh, man, another snake. All right. Let's see if we can get rid of him real quick. I think I've still got some seaweed left, so I'm going to try and make a few more meatballs. If it's allowed, chop these on down. I'll come back with the shovel in just a minute. We'll grab all these, and that'll give us almost a second stack of wood. Always make sure you're going back through and grabbing your stumps afterwards because they do rot over time, and they will become useless. And so, essentially, you're kind of wasting resources if you don't. It seems like one wood would not be a big deal. One wood would not be a big deal anyways. I got stuck on the wording. It seems like it wouldn't be a big deal. Wouldn't. <laughs> Anyways, we've got all kinds of punnery happening. It's not even intentional either. It's just kind of happening as I turn a phrase here. Still, nonetheless, I can finish this thought. I swear to God, I will finish this thought. I actually went up in here and I refertilized all the berry bushes. So those are now growing. That should be very, very nice. I'm going to try and get rid of some of these over here. They're kind of in the way, but I think I've got another monster meat in here somewhere. Yeah, I had one monster meat left over. And so I didn't want to waste it. We've got a whole bunch of crops that are done over here, but I'm probably going to have to dig up these grasses first before we do anything else. So let's get our stumping done real fast. Little bit of stumping, digging up something. It's called a stump. It's the bottom of a tree. It's its ass. All right, so now that we got the tree wiped out. Wow, so I read this huge Reddit that, like, apparently everybody on Reddit hates YouTubers. I was like, holy shit, I had no idea. I was unaware that I was so loathed by the greater universal populace. I don't know, I don't feel like I do anything that offensive or anything that hurts anybody. But apparently there is a large subgroup of people that is just like, yeah man, forget you and your mama. And we're like, but why? She's so memorable. Like, you can forget about me and I'm not gonna cry or be upset about it, but I have to bring my mom in. I mean, that seems a little, seems like a little bit of a low blow. Never understand that shit though. People that'll just like sit around and bitch about something rather than why is my sanity so rapidly declining? Is it because of my weddedness right now? It's got to be my weddedness. I think the arrow just got a little bit smaller. We may need to camp out next to the fire tonight and kind of just let it happen. Let it burn! Let it burn! Let it burn! That's weird. Why is my sanity going down? I was going to say, it should be going up. It should be adjusting. And going. I think it was just like... There was some remnant left over from my sanity previously. I, I have no idea, but we're going to have to chill right here for a little bit. Otherwise, we ain't getting nothing done. I don't think any of this other seaweed is going to get done in time, so I'm just going to eat it all. And since we got our pirate hat out, I don't even care. I just want my health back. And so there it is. We got 109 health. That's the highest our health has been in a very, very, very long time. It's been a while since I've had my health at that level. Sand castles are going to be the next thing that we would want to lean towards if we were really trying to get this done good and proper. However, not being one for proper behavior here, I don't really care that much. i got to pick up some of this grass, though, while we're in the neighborhood, and I should probably light some shit on fire, too. Although not on my home island. That's the big thing, is you don't shit where you eat. You also don't light ridiculous fires that you can't get control of where you eat. Terrible plan. Probably going to end up with some third degree burns. Definitely not going to feel good for you. So avoid it if you can, man. I need more chests too. Which is one of the reasons why deforesting this entire area is becoming so important to me. Not going to burn any of this stuff down. Instead, I'll probably just shovel some of these out of the way. Like right there and right there. 
I will more than likely just use these as fuel. I needed to check and see if anything rotted in here so I can get those last couple right there. But aside from that, a lot of our tasks are going pretty well right now. I think we're making progress. We got a lot of stuff to get done, which is a little bit of a downer. It means that we're going to be hustling our ass off over the next couple days. But I think we've got a nice little island established right here. And I think our chances over the long term of surviving out here are pretty good. I still have not made it through volcano season, though. So don't cross your fingers too much. They might get stuck that way. So she just, like, sets fires randomly when she's upset. Brutal. That is probably going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. That is probably going to be an issue. All right, so when she gets stressed, she lights fires. I wasn't aware of this, but I thought, you know, I thought she lit fires when it was dark to keep herself from getting eaten by the Gru, but maybe they changed it. Or the whatever that thing is. I don't know. They called it Charlie for a while. Then it was the Gru, and then nobody could really decide what it was going to be called, and so now everybody just argues about it in the Don't Starve community. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you what the proper thing is if my life depended on it. Luckily, my life does not depend on it. I have such exciting news right now about the channel, and I can't tell you yet. That's the worst part, is that, like, the deal is not finalized, but, like, cool shit is happening right now. January is looking like it is going to be a sick ass month for us here at the channel. I, I might be getting exclusive rights to content like my channel will be the only channel where you can see footage of like this AAA game that's coming out and I'm really 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 excited about it. They emailed me this morning and they said that their entire development staff is a fan of my videos and I was just like Argh! like this could be really really big for the channel. I'm, I'm excited. Things like this don't happen to me very often and so like I'm excited about it. It's nice when people decide to throw you a bone because they like what you do, you know what I mean? Because this is something that, in life, you will find that most people are not willing to take a chance on other people. I know for sure that I'm not. In general, I don't trust people at all. I'm like, mm, I don't trust you. You look shifty to me. I don't know if it's worth it putting my name on the line to, like, maybe help you do something. You know what I mean? Like, very few people are willing, I'm going to kill some more snakes. I wish that the snakes dropped silk like they were spider snakes. Spider snake, spider snake, bite your foot, he'll bite your rake. I don't know why he wants to bite your rake, but it comes up frequently in conversation, so I figured I'd bring it up anyways. I don't know, it's cool. People don't throw me bones like that very often, and so it's nice to get one every now and again. Exclusive AAA content is a really, really big deal, especially if you get it like a month in advance. Which is what they were talking about with me. And I can't tell you what game it is either. All I can tell you is that it's an expansion for something we've played on the channel already. But I'm very excited about it. It's like one of those things where I've been wetting my pants all day since I got... Like seriously, I've had to change pants like 25 times since I got up this morning and got the email. It's just been a bad day for pants, all things considered. A real bad day for my pants. However, for me, it's been a really, really good day. I'm feeling pretty happy right now. Feeling pretty stoked. Feeling good about prospects for the future. And I'm a dour person. I don't feel good about things very often. I have this tendency to get down on myself about things, get down on other people about things. Basically, getting down, while it sounds awesome, is a thing that I like to partake in a little too frequently. And so, because I'm just that sort of just tight-lipped, grumpy, irritable type of human being, it puts me in a weird place a lot of the time. Night is coming. I need fire. Well, before we need fire, we need grass more than anything else. So I have a top hat right now. Why am I even messing around with the garland? Wait till the garland rots off my head, then I'll go with the top hat. I don't think it should... Yeah, I was going to say clothing should be fine as long as you don't leave it on the ground. And as long as it doesn't have flowers as a constituent part of itself. If it has flowers as part of itself, then they tend to rot pretty quickly. But oh, basic farm right here. Basic farm right here. That looks good. Awesome. Let's keep the seeds flowing. Oh, that one's already been planted. Okay, on this side we got a little bit of corn. Got a pomegranate over there. I don't think I'm going to need the hammer just yet. That axe is pretty much busted. I think it'd probably be a decent idea for us to prototype in just a minute, not right this second. But in just a minute, it's probably a good idea if we prototype... I like how greedily they eat in this game, how they stuff their cheeks full. I don't know, it makes me happy. I like to eat like that. I'm a, I'm a greedy eater. I really sincerely am. I, I like food. I'm a bit of a glutton. And I realize that that's considered to be a sin or something like that. But 
damn do I love food. It's like one of those bright spots in my life that I don't think I could give up. I am, I will eat until I feel sick. And I'll do it day after day. I, will, I don't learn my lesson either. I'll do it day after day after day. Once you've gone hungry a couple times, once you have food and like once like things in your life have straightened out, I don't know. I think it's paranoia, like I, I just want to eat stuff all the time, basically. I probably shouldn't be picking these flowers. I tend to try and save flowers as like a backup plan for my sanity. Might be a cool idea to maybe start a... I used all my pine cones. Oh, man. I want this to be divisible by four. So that I can make a few more planks. And we could possibly make a couple more chests. We should have a full moon coming pretty soon, too, which will be really, really awesome. Condense those stacks, and then that should give us enough for at least a couple more of these little guys. You might be able to shift click them. I think I remember something about shift clicking in the game previously. But our base is expanding. We're making little bits of progress every single time we play, and that really, it, it's. F. This guy over here trying to cause problems. Stomp your little hand back into the dark. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see, that hand destruction. That destruction del mano and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I got a plant over here. I definitely don't want to set my farm on fire. That's a really, really bad plan. We may have to fall back on the top hat. I don't think the garland's getting it done. So there it is. That'll even us out for right now. And during the day, that should ensure that we get a ton of sanity back. Our sanity's just falling off. That's one of the big issues when you go into winter is that you just kind of got to deal with sanity-related issues. I need to start sorting some of these things out and kind of putting them where they need to go. So, this can be the tool chest slash whatever. I never have any idea where I want to put anything. We need to go back out hunting pretty soon, too. we got to kill some more spiders. I'd like to have the Prestahatitator up before we have to vacate our base because when I come back, I want to have all the structure done. I want all the good things to be taken care of. We don't have any spider glands. I would also like to have a supply of five to ten of those just in case we start taking damage. On this side, I'm going to stick with farming related stuff. And so since I don't have an ice chest yet, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to dump things in here. And then I've just got to hope we come back to town in time to make use of all of it. The spyglass I'm going to use up on my lonesome in just a minute. The silk might as well come with me. You know, the mandrake is not a terrible thing to put in there either because it is technically a food. One of these should have my flower petals in it that are rotting right now. There they are. We've got five rot right there. That'll work out perfectly fine for the fertilization of more berry bushes. Good. And now that that's done, I'll probably fertilize a couple of our farms with the remainder. Yep, oh, no, I don't think it actually speeds up the overall growing speed. I think it just makes you skip to the next phase. Like, if you keep spamming fertilizer at it, I'm pretty sure you eventually win. I'm not 100% positive about that, but I think that's how it works. Let's go back up. We got to kill some spiders today. I got to make a bird trap. I don't think we're going to see a lot of birds, though, anytime soon. It may be... Oh, that's right. We had shark problems out here. Yep. And that's how we do it, shark. That's how we do it. Oh, man, unless we miss. And then that's not how we do it. There we go. Some more shit taken care of. I don't know what I do with the soggy shark fins. They're useful for something, and I can't recall what they're useful for at this exact... Why is there... Apparently all my reeds got blown off into the sea. That's okay. It's not nice to blow people off. Well, it could be one of the nicest things you could do, depending on the wording. But in general, I try not to blow people. I I suck at it, though. I really sincerely do. I get so many random emails and so many, like, messages that it's so hard to keep up with all of it. It really sincerely is. Especially since, like, what'll happen is you'll get, like, halfway through, like, your messages. And every few messages, what I've noticed is there'll be, like, a shitty one from somebody who's just trying to tear you down. And I'm the kind of person that gets mad about that kind of shit. I'm a very confrontational human being. I tend to puff my chest out a little bit. When shit like that happens, and somebody like, say it again, say it again, you won't, you won't, I, I get frustrated, and so what tends to happen in those particular situations is that I make myself look like an idiot, and then I'm just like, I don't want to look at this anymore, and I just run away from my email for a couple of days. Bad plan, long term and short term, but hey, it's a character flaw. 
It is a personality flaw. There's a lot of stuff on this island that needs to get done, like, right now. Don't think I need any bamboozes right now. I mean, it'd be cool, but it's not that important. I like how they, like, prescribed weights to each of the objects. Like, certain things can be blown around by the wind and certain things cannot. It's kind of cool. And they blow around to varying degrees, too. Like, some things will blow very, very slowly. Some things will just, like, fly the second that you... Monkey, you better stop with that shenanigans. I was going to burn down all their houses because I hate monkeys, but burning down their houses apparently makes them more migratory and is not recommended. These shark fins, I think, even if you cook them, you lose sanity or something like that from eating them. And so I don't think they're for eating. I think they're for crafting something else, but I don't know what that something is. I'm going to put that down right here. And we're kind of just going to have to... i got to let them aggro. But I can't let them aggro too closely. Because if they aggro too closely, it'll spawn warriors out of here. It'll think that I'm attacking the hive. And I'm not attacking the hive. I'm trying to get spiders to come out so that I can farm them up a little bit. This is going to be harmful to our sanity, by the way. There we go. They got to do the second little shout thing, otherwise it doesn't count quite as well. Ugh, monkeys. I don't know why you do these things to me, monkeys. Most generous hitbox on earth for those little throws that they do. Like, that one definitely shouldn't have counted. Absolutely 100% should not have counted. That was way behind my character. And yet still, they just get the benefit of the doubt with it all. I hate those monkeys. I wish there was an effective way to get rid of them. And as of right now, in-game, there is no effective way to get rid of them. Like, you can feed them bananas, but they still, like, betray you after a little while, you know? Some big sanity loss going in now. Man. Damn it, monkey. I hate those monkeys so much. They're the worst. They're supposed to be fighting the snakes right now, but seriously. Ugh. Like, that shit is infuriating. Yeah, now you're dead, monkey. Now you're dead. And how do you feel about that? I do need these spider glands very, very badly. What I want to do with said spider glands, I'm not really sure. I don't have enough seaweed left right now to really care about a lot of the other stuff. It may be possible to get... I mean, I'm, I still don't have enough silk. I need several more silk for this to work. And so we may get stuck out overnight, unfortunately. I don't like it. At all. But God, I hate those monkeys. They're the worst. If there was, like, a more effective way to kill them, I would be all down for it. But unfortunately, oh, man, my meatballs are going bad, too. Can't set me on fire. I love the flames. Stand in the middle of the flames. Did I just get struck by lightning in the middle of fire? I tell you what, man. How are you going to strike me twice with lightning in a row? Like, why is that even... Oh, my God. Definitely think they need to work on the lightning algorithm. You get struck by lightning so much in this game. Ow, bitch. Hey, another silk. I should probably, like, not have a tool in my hand. I think that increases your chances of getting struck or something like that. But you still get struck a lot anyway, so it's like, what are you going to do? We got to get some health back, which means that since it's a full moon, I'm headed back to base. We got nowhere to be anyways. 
I hope that they don't strike our mast. That would really, really suck. I don't like it when my mast gets struck. I'm going to make a couple of healing salves, and then we'll come back. This is unfortunately... Oh, shit. That's not good. Yeah, that's gnarly. I'm going to try and make it back to our island, but... Holy shit. I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. At least now I do, so... One thing at a time, I guess. Oh, my God. Twice in a row? All right, we just got to put into port. Let's jump off the boat for right now. I got to patch that thing, but we got to wait till the lightning storm ends. It looks like that happens pretty freaky. That's actually something that I'm not familiar with, so unfortunately, I've never seen that happen before. So, new thing. Let's go ahead and do that real fast. We're going to have a lot of sanity issues that we're going to have to deal with. I need ashes, and I've got stone with me right now. In our survival menu, the next thing we're going to want to go in on are a couple of healing salves. Otherwise, our chances of making it, G, are going to be quite small. So there it is. We've patched ourselves on up. Before these meatballs go bad, I would recommend just eating them now. That is going to conclude a large majority of our remaining food. I think I should also take a little bit of time now, and we need to make a snakeskin jacket, I think. So if I got bone shards around here anywhere, they would be greatly appreciated. I think it's in the dress menu, maybe? I need two vines. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Like, most of the island-related stuff requires vines. It's kind of like an extra ingredient. So if I could prototype that right now. If you put this on, it's essentially a poncho. It makes it so you're really, really, really water resistant. It's a pretty sweet little thing to have, especially if you're trying to get rid of the effects of wetness while you're running around trying to enjoy your game. For right now, I really don't know what my plans are. I need to kill some more spiders. And unfortunately, our options for spider slaying are kind of limited given all these monkeys over here causing problems. There's a spider nest over here on that island that might work out a little bit better, but given the unpredictable nature... Given the unpredictable nature of hanging out... during this season, you can never quite tell when things are going to turn around on you and kind of just, like, ruin your life. So, like, I try not to be too far from home whenever I'm in this situation. Let me put the seashell suit in there. Now that that's done, Pack Pack, what you doing right now? Pack Pack ain't doing nothing. So I'm going to put some meat in there. We're going to try and make... I don't know, something useful. Like maybe if I put a bunch of eggs in there with it too, something good will happen. We might end up with slushy goop though. Eggs are kind of weird like that. Eggs are not like an amazingly useful filler food. We'll see what happens with those. With the shark fin, I need to figure out what the hell we do with the shark fin. So with these materials, we'll drop you guys. Yep, looks good. Put you back in there. Oh, look at that. We got, what are those, dumplings or cannolis? Or like, what are those? Oh, pierogies. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow, those are really good for you, too. Holy shit. Those pierogies went in. All right. Looks like we got an option here. Looks like we found ourselves an option. Hopefully we can get pierogies out again. Those pierogies did work. They did a lot of work. Not just a little work. A lot of work. Let's... It's still lightning, though. I can't really sail while it's like this. It's a little bit... Little bit sketchy. I don't like it. It seems scary to me. So what do I do with the shark fin? Like, what does that do for me? Is there anything in here that uses said shark fin? Shark fin, shark fin, gun. the sleek hat. I need a coconut for it though. Aerodynamic design for efficient travel. Okay, so it looks like we can wear a shark hat on our head. I'm sure it's probably wound up in some of this magical stuff too. I would love to bang out the pirata hatitator, but 
I gotta get a parrot. Got to get a parrot so that I can depify my island experience. I guess I'm carrying around a bunch of reeds too, which seems odd unless I'm building myself a flute or something. With these, do they still... Oh, look at that. You can't eat it anymore either. Okay, so they nerfed it. Alright, that's fine. I mean, it was overpowered in its current iteration. It was a pretty beefy... Oh, we got pierogies out again. Hell yeah. Cool. I think it's like monster meat plus like three random vegetables and you get pierogies out. That was pretty sweet. I'm going to do it again. It might also have to do... I think it's two eggs maybe. You got to throw in some dairy or something. Like, I'd be willing to bet this is probably just going to give us meatballs out. It might not even give us anything. Never overestimate what you're going to get out of a crock pot because when you're playing around with designs, like, you basically just want to memorize the few that are really, really good and then just go from there. I don't tend to worry about it much more aside from the two or three things like meatballs that I use a lot. But that's because meatballs, it's kind of like a default design. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of a thing that you get by default. I don't know if I want to make a shark fin, like, whatever. You can cook shark fins, apparently. Let's cook a shark fin and see what happens. We put it in there with a bunch of filler food, so who even knows what we're about to get out. It could be anything, in all fairness. It could be just, like, meatballs. It could be, oh, look at that, we got shark fin soup. Okay, that'll make us friends on the internet. No idea if it's going to be useful anytime soon, but hey. What do I know about anything? Let's go ahead and plant some more crops. That harvest was delightful. In fact, I'm sort of leaning towards going after another one. We've got a little bit of time left. If we end up having another full moon, I may just chill out and collect grass all night. But my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Don't Starve. Goddamn monkeys. I hate them so much. I hate them. I wish there was an effective way to kill them. I need to figure out a way to farm monkeys and destroy their faces off and just make them upset all the time. Just make their families lament their loss. But up until then, I suppose that I'm stuck on my island just being spiteful and very much disliking my primate cousins. I will see you all later. Hi to everybody.